This educational video is to help you better understand the nasal valve anatomy of your nose and how surgery can help you improve breathing through nasal valve surgery. First, let's look at the nose in the profile view. The nose is one-third bone up top and two-thirds of your nose is cartilage. Looking a little further, the nasal bones again above, the nasal tip below, and the darker blue cartilage represents the cartilage of the nasal valve anatomy. Now, let's look at your nose from the bottom view, sometimes called the base view in facial plastic surgery. We can view this through one type of medic illustration. We can also see it through a picture of a real human nose when seen from the base view. Now, from this base view, imagine if we're looking deeper into the nose, past the entrance of the nostrils, deeper into the nose where the nasal septum can be more visualized, separating our nose into a left and a right nasal passage. In this image, blue represents, in the center, the cartilage of your nasal septum. The blue on the outer walls is the cartilage of the upper lateral cartilages, shown to you earlier in the darker blue shade. And the gray space in between is where air flows, that is the nasal valve. Let's look at the nasal valve more closely. When looking at the nasal valve under magnification, again, you can see as defined by the amount of space you have between your center blue cartilage, your septum, and the upper lateral cartilages, shown again here in the blue color. It makes common sense that the more wide this space is, the more air is going to flow easily into your nose, and you'll have a sense of better nasal airflow. If this area is more narrow, that is the definition of nasal valve collapse, and nasal valve surgery helps us to improve this area. Now, continuing to look at the nose from the bottom view, you can see now in pink that the line in pink represents a cartilage graft that is taken from your own body, most typically cartilage from your nasal septum, sometimes cartilage from your ear, and we can go over that more during your consultation. The grafts sit in the middle third of the nose that we showed you earlier, again, below the nasal bones, but above the nasal tip, and then you can visualize them here in the frontal view. Now let's just let this sink in for a second. You can see on the image on your left that again, in the critical area of the upper lateral cartilages, the spacer grafts, sometimes called spreader grafts, sit again above the nasal tip, but just below the nasal bones, as shown on the image on the screen left. On the image of the screen right, you get a better sense of where the spacer slash spreader grafts sit in the middle valve area. Again, they're placed just below the nasal bones, but above the nasal tip, and it will add a little bit of width in this area. As you can see in this actual patient, you can see before surgery, her nose, if you look closely, had somewhat of an hourglass shape. She was almost too narrow in that important middle third of the nose, causing restricted nasal airflow. In her after picture, you can see how the middle one third of the nose has increased width because we have repaired and enlarged her collapsed nasal valve with nasal valve repair surgery. This particular patient also had a little bit of additional cosmetic work done on her tip, and you can appreciate that in the post-operative. Now that you understand the anatomy of the nasal valve, you can better understand how nasal valve repair can be a key component or perhaps the only component to help you achieve better nasal breathing. Thank you.